Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We kicked off this week with a brand new team and in yesterday's episode, if you missed that, we activated all three of our bonus buttons to change the team completely with where it started off at the beginning of this week. So if you missed those episodes, you'd like to go back, there's a card up there for you. Go check those out, see the progression of the team and how we ended up here and we're going to get on to the winning streak today. I promise you that. We had one win yesterday, one loss yesterday. So the team started not too bad. We need to pick up two wins today though. Um, our wins at the moment are, so we are four losses, one win. We've got four more games left. We can still finish positive for the rest of the week. For some reason in our last episode, I got our win ratio completely wrong. I was giving us an extra loss where we didn't need it. Can you imagine that? But just to recap the team, as always, it's on the screen in front of you after the changes yesterday. Uh, we've got the Chimeco, we've got the Curran Black now in there. We've got Mega Amphros, Necrozma, the original Necrozma. We've got Sylvian and Perline. Perline putting in a lot of work yesterday, so it was really good to see. Hopefully that continues on today. It's great support to help us set up our trick room, if anything else. Right, without further ado, music is on. Let's get into this first one today. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this sort of content, remember to drop a like on the video just down below. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel and leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you all. What we're going to go with Elite Four to kick off, and we've got our first opponent straight away. So let's hop straight into Team Preview. Okay, so a bit of an old school. VGC19 Ultra Series team, we've got that Groudon and the Veltal combination, you guys know how much I love this restricted pairing, we've got the Groudon there, it's going to be super good at just wrecking through teams with support from that Eveltal that deals with a lot of other threats that Groudon can't, um, Eveltal probably is going to be a salt vest in this team, it might not be though, you could look at a Zemu variant as well, um, and if it's a Zemu variant you're probably looking at something like Tailwind with it, so... The supporting cast is going to be Incineroar, Tapu Fini, uh, very standard, and then Cortana making a grass firewall grass core up there, very nice. And then the mega of the team is going to be Gengar, which is going to be trapping us in and causing us all sorts of problems. But I do feel like Perline could be very good here. Again, we're going to have a faster fake out than the Incineroar. We do need to remember about the prankster in these dark types, though. It won't affect them. Um, do we go Chimeco to try and get the trick room up? Um... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm definitely gonna try. Um, if we can get the trick room up, really good. Mega Ampharos gonna be extremely good here, and probably Kieran Black again. Leaving the Necrozma out every time here, but Necrozma could be decent. It's just the two dark types. We don't want to double up on any any additional weaknesses that we've already got there. Sylveon could be very good in this match, but the Groudon does put me off a little bit. You know, Groudon really walls Sylveon pretty hard and makes it very difficult for us to operate with it. Um, obviously very good against something like Eveltal. And you know, in Team Preview, we might be putting my opponent off leading with it, which we're not going to see it come out here anyway. So we're going to see the Incineroar and the Cartana come out for my opponent. Um, we're going to be able to set up our Trick Room for sure, because we can fake out that Incineroar. And we can go for the Z trick room with Jameko. Um, and then we're in a prime position to start putting things to sleep. I'm not really worried about what that Cortana is going to be doing. It can't really... I don't feel like it can KO either Pokemon. You never know. We might see a Grassy Z just launched off straight away. But we will go for that Z trick room this first turn. And if we can get this off, then we can shut down the Incineroar the next turn with the Hypnosis. Hopefully, uh, get Perline out of here, keep that fake out for later on in the game and get something like Mega Ampharos or Curum, Curum Black onto the field to help us deal with that Cortana a little bit better. So let's see what my opponent goes for. Faking out a fake out there. So there we go. Nice quick fake out from, uh, there's a Leaf Blade coming into Chimeco. Ooh, doing a lot of damage. Not a critical hit though, but that's all right. We are going to get the Z Trick Room up first turn. The, the Perline makes such a difference here, doesn't it? You know, just like I mentioned earlier in the week, we need some sort of redirection, some sort of fake-out support to help our Trick Room, and you can see straight away it's so consistent now. We're able to get this up most games when we bring this lead, so that's that's so good for us. Um, I think, well, we could just keep we could just keep Perline in and just go for a foul play into the Cartana and go for that Hypnosis into the Incineroar, which might not be a bad idea to do, to be honest. 
Um, the Cortana could potentially take down Chimeco here, but if it does, it means that we do get in something like Mega Amphros or Kuro Black that can start doing some work. Um, because Chimeco, like, offensively, we know. <laughs> it's not the greatest of Pokemon, but it can set up and it can support super well. There's that Hypnosis into the Incineroar, so we do put the cat to sleep. Uh, we'll get this foul play. We should be able to two hit KO the Cortana. I'd imagine with foul play. I'm hoping Cortana is really defensively built though, but yeah, that, we're gonna get the two hit KO onto it. So Perlong not only being a great support Pokemon, it is putting in a lot of work as well. So uh, it does get the beast boost, but it is gonna be prone to going down this next turn for sure. Um, now let's get in Mega Amphros because we can Mega Evolve, start chucking some Thunderbolts onto that Incineroar and I'm going to hope that we can 2 hit KO the Incineroar I am really going to hope that we can do that um, so let's go Mega Evolve and go for that Thunderbolt into the Incineroar we might see the Groudon make an appearance now for the Incineroar maybe, but I don't know we might want to keep the Cartana around for later. Yeah, we're going to see that switch out. We're going to see Eveltal hit the field. Okay, well, I don't mind this too much. Going to lose that Beast Boost by switching it out, but it's fine. Uh, Dark Aura boosted Foul Play as well coming out <clears throat> into Eveltal. Going to be useful. Um, we can't utilize any of our Prankster moves, though. That's the only problem with our Purloin. Uh, there's the Thunderbolt. Let's see what damage this is doing into that. Not quite 50%. Um, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. It's still doing some nice damage anyway. Uh, and I wonder if that Evelto will be in Thunderbolt range this next turn. Um, I'm going to actually switch out Perline. I want to keep the, the fake out for later in this game. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt into Evelto, and I'm going to bring Curran Black in Perline's place. And now we're sitting in a nice position, or a nice-ish position. Uh, you've also just protecting here, so it's not a salt vest. That's good. So a thunderbolt should take it down. Um, hopefully this Incineroar stays asleep. No. Ah, more snarl, snarl shenanigans. We don't like snarl. We hate it. We had to, <clears throat> we had to deal with this the last game, the last game or yesterday's game, whenever it was. Um. We can definitely go for a Fusion Bolt into the Veltal. I would say that'll be enough. I think we'll go for another Thunderbolt into Incineroar. Now, this Thunderbolt shouldn't proc the berry on Incineroar. Um, and we're running out of Trick Room turns. That's the, the big the big catch here. Um, so there's a Thunderbolt coming out into the Incineroar. Like I said, shouldn't activate a berry here, which is ideal what we need. U-turn coming out from the Incineroar into Ampharos. We take that pretty comfortably. Um, and hopefully this fusion bolt can be enough to pick up the Evelto. I'm not, I'm not going to be massively convinced, but it's likely going to be Z move. So we're probably going to lose something like Amphros here or Cure and Black. Uh, Cortana coming back onto the field. Fusion bolt, come on, can it be enough? Can we get the Evelto? We need to get the Evelto, to be honest. Ah, oh, it's nowhere near enough. Tailwind, okay. And Dimension sent back to normal. Now the cart is in an incredible position here. And um, what we could do is bring in Purloin. We can't protect with our Cure in Black. I feel like there is a Z move coming out here <clears throat> from the Avelto. So we can try and play around that. We can try and get Purloin in. It is going to be sashed. So we'll just protect Amphros try and get around stuff this next turn. It's Cartana going for the Sacred Sword. It is going to be into Purline. It's going to be super effective as well. It takes us down to our Sash and we're going to see uh, Snarl coming out. Please miss. Uh, okay. Not ideal. Ah. Uh, okay. Cartana I think is a soul fest, I would say. And I think the Groudon's definitely in the back. Hmm. But we'll go for an Ice Beam into the Cartana and we'll go for a Thunderbolt into the Veltal. 
they're going to take a sacred sword it's going to do a chunk of damage to us yeah huge amount of snarl again yeah I'm not wanting to draw any big damage onto us but huh, critical hit I mean we're going to be able to clear the field here um, for sure but we've got an incineral and a Groudon to deal with this this next turn which is not ideal um, and it's so easy for my opponent just to fake out the cure in black and precipice blades really or fire punch and that will be it I mean one thing that we could potentially do is magnet rise here with our Amphros but it's it's really difficult yeah to get around the Groudon still because it's still gonna have fire punch and we're minus two with Amphros so Snarl's a real issue for this team we're really starting to identify that ah uh, okay it's not looking so hot already it's not looking so hot hmm I mean if we can get an earth power off into the incineral it could it could could work I don't think we're gonna be able to we're probably better off protecting that frost here but it feels pretty pretty useless oh we're gonna actually see okay eruption that that will do it that will do it fast crowd on yeah nothing we can do hmm you see when I look at the team I'm like could could Necrozma have been good there I don't know with two double dark it doesn't seem likely Sylvian that's another story I think Sylvian might have been a good pick there may have been a good pick so that puts us to five losses two wins yeah because we've got to win at the start of the week we've got to win yesterday so uh, that makes that makes sense we've got three games left probably for the rest of the week we can still we can still even the score up which we haven't been able to do yet this is only our second week of course um, let's go let's go Maxi and Archie for our next one hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent so yeah we had a win on Monday we had a win on Wednesday which was yesterday um, and then two oops, that's either that two 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 and then yeah so yeah and lost today so hopefully we can do a bit better against this team we'll get straight into team preview and we'll see if we can start turning this ship around Okay, we've got our next opponent, Jose, and they are running a team of Rayquaza, Kyogre, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Celesteela, and Gengo. We've already played this call, and we didn't have two. We did all right against it, to be honest. So I think, like, this archetype does pretty well. We can, I think, go with the... Do we go Chimeko and Purloin? And then go... We definitely want Amphros and Curan Black because they both do such a good job in this game. I think the thing that we identify from this is though that the Incineral is a, a real difficult Pokemon to deal with especially with that Snarl. Um, so I mean going up against it again it's going to be decent. We just need to keep an eye on that Snarl and make sure that we can check it in some roundabout way. If we can get the Z Trick Room up and then put the Incineral to sleep it might be enough to give us the room that we need to kind of operate for the rest of the games we'll lock in and we'll wait for our opponent to see what they're gonna do um, but I'm hoping that we can get things going maybe Sylvian is the, the answer here but then again Sylvian still susceptible to snarl um, the incineral is definitely the biggest problem I think for the for the team to deal with for sure um, but if we can get the trick room up, I think we might be alright. Tapu Koko and Incineral coming out for my opponent. Hmm. I wonder if we see a Gigavolt Havoc into Chimeco here. That would make a lot of sense. Because. Where would the Z move be on this team when you look at it? I think it's probably not on the Incineroar. It's likely to be on the Tapu Koko. Um, so we could... Hmm. Let's 
just getting the trick room up. I just think you double into Chimeco here, to be honest. Um, could bring in Ampharos. It's not really going to do us too much good. Um, we could try in Z trick room. Z trick room. Um, and then go for the fake out into the call call. That's. I, I feel the bigger threat here, but we're just going to trade fake outs, I think. So there's a fake out. Oh, we're not. We're not going to trade fake outs. We can't utilize our, our hypnosis, unfortunately, because of the electric terrain. So my opponent playing smart there. But we do get the Z trick room up. Um, it might have been better just going for the regular trick room, to be honest. Um, hmm. Yeah, possibly. And then using the Z move to, to nuke the core core. Okay, but we are snarl, 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 snarl. Um, right, I think Chimeco is quite important for us to keep kind of around for sure. Um, can we get Amphros in safely? I really don't feel like we can. Um, I mean, we could pull a double switch. It's just if we see. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pull a double switch. We're probably gonna get we're probably gonna get snarled again. Um, but we need to get our big hitters onto the field and make use of this trick room. The only problem would be if we see like a twinkle tackle or a dazzling gleam, it's not gonna be ideal for um for Curum. Would you waste the Z move on Purloin? I don't know if you do. There's a snarl coming out. The incineral. Yep, I'm gonna weaken Thing on our side of the field, which isn't great, but I mean, yeah, and a thunderbolt coming out. Yeah, okay. Now that's 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 fine for us. So we can mega evolve. I think we thunderbolt the incineral, and we will. What do we? Yeah. I guess the problem is, um, I'm gonna actually preserve Amphrost for later on. And I think we'll see another Snarl come out. I'm going to go for switch into Purloin. And I'm going to go for an Earth Power into Coco. Why don't we Fusion Bolt the Incineroar? Like the, the Incineroar is the biggest issue at the minute. I think for us, like it's because it's it's disruption is causing us more problems than anything else. Uh, the Dazzle Gleam is not going to be ideal for us to deal with. The Tapco actually protects here, so that's that's really good. Uh, we can actually on-call the Coco the next turn. I'm going to just see another Snarl. It's not really affecting either Pokemon too much because we're going for that Fusion Bolt, which is a um, physical, physical variant. And with the Electric Terrain powering that up, it does make it a bit stronger. So I think making a better decision there. Um, 50%. So we're going to be able to get that Incineroar this next turn. 100%. Categorically, uh, let's on call the Coco and let's go for another fusion bolt into the Incineroar. Um, it can snarl all at once, it probably does go for a U turn here, you've got to imagine. Um, but you turn it into anything like Rayquaza or, or Kyogre, it's going to take a bunch of damage. So, we do get the Encore into the Coco, we completely shut this out of the game unless it has got that Z move. And if it's got the Z move, then we are in a little bit of trouble. We're going to see another snarl come out from the Incineral. Um, let's just hope it's not a Z move Coco. We'll get the Fusion Bolt. This should be enough to get the Incineral now. And now that's removed, it does make things a little bit easier, um, especially when Amphros wants to come back onto the field and start utilizing those special type attacks. We're not weakened, and there is the Z move, yeah, like we expected. But now the Coco is going to use this, um, and it probably gets rid of Curan Black. Yeah, I don't think we can take this. Um, with your soul fest. I mean we might we might um, It's not the most powerful Z move in the world So I wouldn't be surprised if we took this But it, we do get taken down um, But We still got trick room up right we still got trick room up and we can get Amphros onto the field We still got the electric trainer the Coco is totally Oh it's Celesteela mm. Okay. I wonder what the last Pokemon is. Because something is going to come in on that slot for sure. Um, I'm going to file play it into the Coco. It's locked into Protect. I'm going to remember that. We're going to Mega Evolve now. And we're going to go for that Thunderbolt into the Celesteela. And I think we're not in too bad a position right now. 
Um, Chimeco in the back, I think, is it depends what the restricted Pokemon is. Like, Chimeco can come in, and as long as it's not Kyogre, we're in, well, yeah, at least if this is Rayquaza, mm, it's Kyogre. Okay. Mm, I don't know what I kind of prefer. Like, the Celestina probably protects you, but if it does protect, then we got the Encore into it in the next turn, don't we? And if the Celestia doesn't protect, I think with the Electric Terrain boost, we probably do, we probably do pick up the knockout onto Celestia here. And that would be incredible. I mean, if we can do that, that would be amazing, amazing. But I think it does protect. Yeah. Get around this trick room. Full show. Okay, there's a Thunderbolt. Foul play is still going to do decent damage to this Kyogre. Yeah, it's not too bad. And the electric train just disappeared from the field, which isn't amazing. Um, we can't encore the Celesteela. Um, it's likely the Coco comes back in, though. But if it does, it brings the electric terrain with it. I'm just going to go for that Thunderbolt into the Kyogre. That should be enough to take it down. Does the Celesteela want to stay in and get encore locked, though? That's the problem. I think you've got to switch. Oh yeah, it stays in. Okay, that's fine. Fine by me. Because the Kyogre now will take down the Pearloin. Like Amphros should... Oh, we're going to have Pearloin for a little bit longer. Amphros takes that pretty comfortably. Celesteel going for a Protect does fail. Thunderbolt, is it going to be enough? I don't know if it will be. Easy enough. Amphros, the beast. Yes, okay. This is good. And um, now... Uh, the problem is getting around Dazzling Gleam from this Tapu Koko. Hmm. Now one thing we could potentially do is bring in Chimeko. Try and get a Trick Room up. Because the Tapu Koko is going to be difficult to deal with, I think, now. Regardless of what, whatever we do. Um, we've really got no offence to deal with it. Uh, let's protect. Yeah, the Tapu Koko kind of ruins ruins this match for us. Not ruins, but does make it very difficult for us to kind of get any. Yeah, we're just going to see dazzling gleams. The Cell Stealer is locked. Remember, um, and for us protect, we're going to see dazzling gleam. Yep. Let's see how Chimeko takes this. Okay, Chimeko takes it like a champ, actually. Which is amazing. So we can go for the trick room. Do we bring in Perline to go down to? I think we probably do. Um, yeah, I think we sack Perline now, and we go for the trick room. I think maybe the, the Coco might go Thunderbolt. Uh, just keep the dazzling gleam and like Perlon will go down to this, I'd imagine. Yeah. But we do get a trick room up. Which is pretty that's that's pretty good for us. Um No Celestia's Encore ended. I just don't think a psychic a psychic and a thunderbolt is gonna be enough to get this call call. And we really need it to be enough. Um, there's too many turns of electric terrain as well. I mean, what we could potentially do is go psychic. I think this Celesteela protects here. But the Celesteela probably attacks into the Chimeco and picks up the knockout there, which is a little bit awkward. Uh, or does it protect? Does it protect? Yeah. Don't know if it would. I'm going to double into the Coco and hope. Yeah, the Celestia protects. We need this combination to pick up the knockout onto the Coco, and I don't know if it's going to be enough. Come on, we need to do. Okay, can Psychic? Come on, Chimeco, can you do this, please? Just this once. 
Yes, we can do it. Come on, Chimeko. You are the one. <laughs> Chimeko, we love you. We love you. Let's go Hypnosis into the Celesteela. And let's go for that Thunderbolt. It should be enough in the Electric Terrain to pick up the Celesteela Knockout. And we're going to pick up a victory here, hopefully. There's the Thunderbolt. It should be enough. It's enough. It's enough. We win. <laughs> Clean win. Oh, come on. Yes. Mega Ampharos Chimeco is all you need. I can't believe that. Amazing game, Jose. I mean, when we get a win like that, it is so worth it. It's so worth it, guys. So, right. We're giving ourselves a lifeline going into tomorrow's episode. We are five losses, three wins. If we win both games tomorrow back to back, we can finish break even with the team for the week. And I think that is a success. I think it is a success. So what we'll do, we'll end it here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I'm so hyped about that last win. That is that is amazing. So hopefully we can keep it going. Um, have a great day, whatever you're up to. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think of today's episode. And we'll be back with more Road to Rank Roulette tomorrow. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves. And bye-bye.